Hello there and welcome back. So we are coming off our first legit win of the season at Sonoma. Yeah, that's right. We kicked Ricky Rudd's ass and the rest of the fields. It came down to a uh, kind of an oh shit moment there towards the end. It was pretty scary, I'm not going to lie. But we made the right call and we won that damn race. Now we go on to the Pepsi 400. We've always had pretty good, you know, pretty good cars at the plate tracks. We've, we've run the tire strats and it's always gained us a hell of a lot of time. We went to Talladega and we finished... What, fourth I think and we we probably could have won that race if it wasn't for a pit mistake now since we've been running good I don't know if I can get any better guys or not but let's see 69 67 okay well he's not getting any better okay yeah none of these guys are better except for one guy I got a better gas man 66 and 66 well everybody welcome Rotolo to the team now, I also took a look through the builders and once again none of them are better than what we've already got so a uh, quick look at a garage here. So, uh, I I kind of so I did mess it up. I was a, for whatever reason I was a week off. I thought we had another race before Daytona. We're not gonna have really all too fresh of stuff for Daytona, but that's okay. It's still gonna be pretty close because we kept everything clean for Sonoma. So, I think we're basically just gonna be down like one engine power, maybe one tire wear. So I can live with that. I do believe. And our shop edition also finished. So. We know what we want to do for the most part. I don't know if I want to look around too much. This is definitely what I want to do. And we should have enough, I think, at the end of this to do this six-race build for $1.5 <laughs> So lastly, we'll give you a look at the point standings here. So Dale Jr., still your points leader. Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman, and Mark Martin now in the top five in points. So as you know, we got to finish in the top 25. we got to qualify in the top 25. And we also have to be in the top 25 in points. So here we are, we're in 24th, actually tied with Jeremy Mayfield. But then we've got a good ba uh, good gap back to P26 in points, so it's out of there. So, uh, yeah, these next couple guys aren't too terribly far away. So all we need is a good run to Daytona. I think we can do that, and we ought to be just fine. But the biggest problem, I honestly think, is going to be qualifying there. So hopefully we can find, you know, two laps worth of speed. If we can do that, I think we can handle the rest. 63 car rating, let's get it. Alrighty, out to qualify here in Daytona. So, um, yeah, the really the biggest thing here is that we gotta qualify top 25. If we don't qualify top 25, then, well, that's not gonna be good. But uh, I think we can do it, man. I don't think we're gonna be much higher than top 25, but I don't even really care to be higher than much, much more higher than 25th. Uh, as long as we can get there, man, that's all that counts. Cause then I'm confident in ourselves that we can. We can finish top 25 pretty easy. And then, you know, we'll stay in the top 25 in points most likely. So it'd be hard to pretty, it'd be pretty hard to fall out of the top 25 in points with a top 25 finish being however many points ahead of 26. So, um, yeah. So here we go. All right, Sean. Yeah, decent speed, I guess. 23rd on the first line. That's the one that counts. Yeah, what he said. Barely hit 184 there. We're going off in the corner. Hmm. Oh, one and two is perfect. Oh, I was so good. I don't think I've ever hit a corner that good ever. At a play track. 183. Let me see 184 real quick. All right. Thank you. Okay, a little bit more jagged, but overall that was pretty good. That's a pretty good lap. I think this would be top 25. I think. I hope. We'll start in the top half of the field. Not too bad. Yeah. Hey, hey P12. All right, that was a nice little run. All right, yeah, we're good. We're just fine. Tonight, it's Super Speedway action under the lights. MRN is live at the Daytona International Speedway this evening with flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the Pepsi 400. To win a race is something pretty special at any track. But to win here at Daytona, you're that much closer to becoming a legend in the sport. There's no doubt about it. A lot of these NASCAR and Winston Cup drivers will tell you that it's really no different winning here than anywhere else. But those are the guys who haven't done it yet. Once their name is in the history books here, I guarantee you they'll change their mind. The 199 car looks to turn his luck around in this race. And trust me, it hasn't been for the lack of effort. Those guys have been working hard all season. Maybe they can right the ship with a good finish here. 
David Green has been struggling in his qualifying runs this year. Well, that's true, but with the importance of the draft here, your starting position isn't quite as important as it is on other tracks. It's all about being in the right line here at the end. Some drivers say it's the low line that moves. Some say the high one is the place to be. And a few even think the middle is the hot spot as long as you've got some drafting help. The Dr. Pepper Dodge is having some trouble in the points this year. Well, there's uh -huh. always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever I don't think I've ever heard that one. There. The Sometime Dr. Pepper it's Dodge. It's not your season to shine. It's Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr. Your front row here at Daytona. I guess all Dale Jarrett up in there, Kevin Harvick, yeah, Newman, uh, Mark Martin. All right. Well, this ought to be fun. Start on the high side. Don't like the high side. Oh, here we go. Oh, thanks for getting out of the way, Kenny. Appreciate it, man. Oh, Matt Kenseth doesn't like me. Oh, Matt Kenseth. <laughs> Hello, Matt. It's okay, he's only minus 40. That shouldn't be too terribly bad. All right, so we're starting pretty good. Higher than I thought we would. Now, we could just kind of cling. You know? We could just do that. I think we'll be okay. We're not clinging so well, though. Jeez, we fell way off Matt Kansas. He just took off and started the top half of the field. Jeez, sorry about that. There's Ward. I haven't got him back yet. Trust me, I will. One of these days. When I need a caution, I just haven't found him running when I need a caution. Every time I don't need a caution, I see him. There you go. Look at that. It already broke into like two packs already. That's rough, man. I really wanted to be a part of that front pack. But... Is that Dale Jarrett up there in the white, the white paint scheme? Every time I look up further in the pack, it looks like he's blowing up because of the white paint scheme and how bad the graphics are. Damn, I hit 191 right there. Maybe we can draft up to the pack, maybe. I don't know. They got a couple scragglers up here. Uh, we might be able to do something, but hey. Well, I mean, we're already P10. This, we can just hold on to this. We're drafting pretty good. This thing's sucking up really nice. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, here we go. Big old run. You gonna block? You gonna block? That's what I thought. Oh, damn it, and I lost my run. Number 12, Son of a bitch. All right. Who is up here dicking up the line? Is that seven time? Hey, seven time. If he could, like, get out of the line. Oh, man, I'm probably going to lose the draft now because of that stack up. And Ryan Newman blocking me. Here. Here we go. I'm surprised, man. This thing's drafting a lot better. And going a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Even though we're getting past right now. He still kind of made it back up there. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. A little bit of side draft action. I know Bobby Labonte, it'll be quick. Look at that front pack, though. Holy shit, they're just, like, gone. I'll have some of what they're having, please. Look at that. That's what? The top six, maybe? Something like that? What the hell? They're just, like, gone. Stuart Haas, is that you up there? Oh, man, I had to let out of the gas. I wasn't sure if it was going to turn there. I had a hell of a run going off when I wanted to. These guys keep on stacking up. All right, Jimmy Johnson. Hey, buddy. We already talked to you once. Now I'm going to tell you again. Fuck out of the way, man. You're dicking up everything. To like me. Except I seem to have a little bit of speed. A little bit more than you, apparently. Ooh, 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 ooh. Number 42 is still there. Damn it. I wish we could figure this out here. All right, Jamie, are you going to pass, or am I going to follow, or what are we doing here? You going to run the high side just because? Just because. All right. That's cool. Wait, we can just let that pack drive away from us. All right, Jamie, we're good. Okay, Sterling. All right, Sterling. You. All right, J Johnny? All right, there we go. Now let's just fall in line, and uh, nope, Sterling. Sterling wants to race, so let's race. Sterling should have a faster car than Jamie McMurray, so we'll just we'll just follow him. Oh, and I'm gonna get split. 
job. That's some shit. Well, we had speed for like five laps. Now we're just getting freight train left and right. Seven. There you go. Man, I've been. I keep on hitting these checkups. And I can't. I can't avoid them. And also, these guys are just getting way better runs than me. This is some shit. Do I gotta run the. Who is that? Do I gotta run the high side to get the runs? I just ate Taco Bell. I think I ought to be all right. By the end of the race, I'd be just fine. Man, that's some shit. Oh, man. 16th. That's not too bad. You just got to get to our first stop. We're still running pretty good times, drafting well. I just can't believe how far off we are off the leaders already. Like, what kind of shit is that? Compared to everybody else, really? How far are we off? We're nine sec. It's we've fallen off pretty much like a second every lap. We're we around 45. Welcome to the three-digit club, my man. Who are you again? One of our rookies. I probably heard over his name at some point. At least Kurt Busch isn't pulling away from me. Somehow, some way. I'm able to keep on, you know, pulling him in and keep him you know, at distance. It's very nice. The 15 car is inside. Damn, Michael Waltrip out of nowhere. These guys are making the bottom work. Man, they had enough of me and Kurt Busch's shit. I said, fuck this, and hooked, I left. He came out of nowhere. I don't even know where Michael Waltrip came from. He just. Yeah, I didn't even know he was in our group. I'm surprised he's not at the front with all the other fast guys. Bring it in Stay low, Kurt. Why are we in our pit window? I don't even know where the pit window is. Ooh, 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 I thought it was clear. Um, I guess it's just going to be a two-stopper. That makes sense, so. Yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll just... Take as far as we can go. I mean, we're doing pretty good here. We're in the draft. Can't ask for much more. I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but... Hey, who's this? Scott Smith. <laughs> Scott Smith. All right, Scott. I guess we're going to... Yeah, he's had a nice little run for a, for a rookie. A lot better run than I ever put together. Yeah, these guys just get way better runs off the corners. I don't get it. I just be drafted normally behind somebody and then they get off the corner and just new Yeah, we're gonna have to pit too. We'll be pitting right here. So Oh boy, I'm glad I didn't put it in the wall right there. Yeah, we're rusty. Yeah, I might have to get some pits. Alright, coming in hot. Yeah, you guys get in the pit road like a wuss. Yeah. Made up a little bit of time right there. Um I guess we're going to take rights. Both sides had some wear, so. Oh, man. Holding for people. All right, we'll see where we come at here. We should save a little bit of time. All right, guys, I don't ask for much. Only two stops today. You know, the pit stops are the biggest part of the race right here for our strategy, so we just need two clean ones. Nice job. Ten seconds. All right. We're going to come out with the... Uh, okay. Uh, well, Ryan Newman was not too far up the way. Oh, there went some leaders. Dale Jarrett and Kevin Harvey. Must be nice. See you guys later. Maybe I can catch up here to Kevin Harvick. Or not Kevin Harvick. Uh, Ryan Newman. Probably not. I got on the track earlier than he did, but yeah, I don't think it's really going to matter. I might be able to get to him. Uh, it's not looking so good. That's a problem. I don't have any draft help behind me. I don't have any draft help in front of me either, so I'm kind of in my own little bubble right now. So now we just go to around lap 30, I guess. And it'll be a routine one stopper from here. Uh, you know, we should gain some spots back pretty quickly here. There you go. P23. Hopefully, we come out with some people. P21 already. Jeez, I was running like 
Like 19th, I think, 17th, 18th, somewhere in there. I lost a lot of spots from where I originally qualified. It wasn't a great first run, but I mean, we held held on for as best as we can, so as best as we could. We got somebody here. Uh, we're going to have to draft with him. Who are you? Is that Johnny? Yeah, it is Johnny. What's up, Johnny? All right, buddy. There we go. Yeah, B18. Yeah, it's good we got this draft help here. We'll be able to roll around a lot of these guys. We're going to come out way ahead of that string. P14 with Johnny Benson right there in front of us. Not bad. Not bad. So after the next and final stop, I'm thinking we could probably end up inside the top 10. I hope. I also hope I can keep up with Johnny Benson. Oh, shit. We're actually catching somebody. He actually might pull away from me if he gets to the draft of the next guy. He might. We're sucking him in really good right here. You're not going away from me yet, Johnny. Is that Ryan Newman? Did we did we catch Ryan Newman? Oh man, that'd be huge. Damn it, we're right on the edge. I mean, we can't lose Johnny. Stop sharing drafts so he doesn't go up there and pass him. You need to just sit behind. Let me catch up. Drag the brake a little bit. Don't run away from me just yet. There you go. All right, we're good. Those guys behind me haven't caught me yet. I don't want them to catch me either. If we could just roll, you know, roll off and get some really good times here, get some good laps in with some good draft help. We can just roll with these guys. We'll be okay. Just pull away. Once again, if we can come into pit road P14, I'd like to think we can come out probably top 10 easy after everything cycles through. And Look at that. They pulled the, the draft to the next guy. And I lost him. Son of a beach. Oh, hold on. That's Jimmy Johnson up there, I think. I think I might just pull him back. I don't know. Come on, Johnny. Drag the brake a little bit for a pal. Oh, man. We're working together so well, too. Feels bad, man. Alright, I just like that Kurt Bush and McMurray's caught me some. One of them's gonna have to go by. That way I can follow. We got other guys catching up too. We'll be pitting in the next handful of laps. I don't know what uh yeah, there you go. There's one pitting right there, so a few windows should be open for some guys. Alright, Newman peeled off. A couple of guys behind us, so uh, not many, not many of the front runners. I guess Newman was the highest up at pit, that short pit. So I don't know if that's going to work out for him or not, but well, apparently not. I'm holding the bottom line pretty well. And just losing spots left and right, losing time and everything. Hey, right, Rusty, you're my a buffer car. I'll draft. Use these guys for front draft. You stay out my ass, give me ass draft. <laughs> Here's Jimmy Johnson. He's been holding everybody up all damn day. Jimmy, go back to your mile and a half, please. Look at him. He's actually legitimately slow. I don't know why. Somebody's. I don't know. All these guys are slow except for McMurray, I think. I don't know what the hell Robbie Gordon's doing. I don't want the hell past Jimmy Johnson, that's for sure. Oh my god, that was close. We about fucked it right there. Got on my right rear going off in the corner. Oh, look at Jimmy Johnson getting a run back. Whatever. Come on, Jamie. I'm just push you around these scrubs. There we go. Nice little run. We'll get by both of them. And we're catching Kurt back. Yeah. All right. All right. Looks like I'm losing the draft here, I think. That's a stack up pretty good, which it looks like they're doing. Here's Johnny Benson. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, oh, I don't know. I might stretch into the lap. Whenever I lose the draft, oh man, both my tires just hit red. I probably should have pit right there. Yeah, because I'm losing it now. So we're definitely coming in this time. We're gonna take left sides and then that'll be it. And we'll see what we cycle out at the end of this thing. I really should have pit right there. So I'm gonna go this whole lap without any draft help at all. So, 
Again, it's always really important, man, because that's the thing. Everybody else you're racing has draft help. So when you lose it, oh man, it's not fun. We don't have the speed to run around here without it, so. Hopefully we will after this we can get work on, on that engine dyno. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, a handful of races down the road, we can start working on a new engine. Yeah, right, here we go, we're coming in. See, yeah, all that time we lost in just one lap. It sucks. All right. I'll in here. Okay, we lost a spot. Oh, don't speed. Okay, perfect. Right on the money. Uh, left sides, no damage. Hopefully that does it. I kind of want to put that adjustment back in there, but oh well. All right, boys, I don't ask you for much. <laughs> oh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What the fuck? 12.3? I thought that was supposed to be like a nine-second stop. Nine, ten. Shouldn't, shouldn't have taken that long. Shit. Hello, leaders. Goodbye, leaders. The fast cars. I I don't know who the hell is in the lead, but it looks like he's by himself. Must be nice. Yeah, well, here's Sterling Marlin in Kansas. So we came out 33rd. These guys, the leaders, probably gonna be pitting here in the next next lap or two, really. Let's see. Next car in front of me, Stan Barrett. I don't know. Um, I'm interested to see where. What was it? Newman, I think, was the highest. Oh lordy, that was a bad time to catch me. I think Newman is the highest car that short pit. Can I see where we came out in relation to him? Yeah, there's a big lot of cars on pit road here, so. Uh, here in the next couple of laps, we're going to see where we end up. Number 40, top five. All right. Sterling? Nope. Okay. Let me, you give me, you, you give me the sign when you want to pass. We'll make it happen, buddy. All right. 30th, 29th. Up spot. We'll get a handful of these guys out of pit road, so um, be interesting to see who these guys are. I do think we're gonna get by them? I'm aiming for a top ten here. I think we can do it. Damn, is that McMurray and Kurt Busch? It is. Well, shit, we didn't really gain any time at all. It doesn't look like. Maybe a little bit, but damn, we got McMurray, but. Like, yeah, that pit stop wasn't as quick as I thought it would be. That's a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, I was shoving right there. That's why I wanted to leave that adjustment in there. Ooh boy, I about stuffed in the wall. We're gonna have to be, uh, the right sides are worn, so we're gonna have to pay attention to that. Here we go. Put it in the wall. Okay, hey, there's Jimmy Johnson. We came out a good bit ahead of him. Boy, my right front just hit red. We still got a handful of laps left to go. All right, Kansas just pit. There's still guys on pit road here. Kind of want to go past Kurt Busch if you don't mind here. Ooh. All right, P16. P15. That's a spot from Kurt Busch. Hopefully somebody can slide up here in front of us and we can get a new drafting partner. There's Johnny Benson. P14. That's about where we were running. Nice, and we should still, yeah, there's still a huge glob of cars on pit road, so. I think we might just end up in the top 10. I don't know. There we go, P13. There you go, P12. There's Jeff Green. I see P11 up here on the apron. Oh, man, we're probably going to be like one one spot short of a top 10, aren't we? That's Rusty Wallace. Yeah, if we had a little bit quicker to stop, man, like I thought we would, we definitely probably would have got a top 10 easy. The 97 car has gone man. on you. You're clear. Yeah. I mean, we just definitely, we definitely don't have the speed of the leaders. For a second, you know, for a, for a brief second there, going into the race, I thought there's a chance that we might be able to mess around and win this race, but yeah, we're like a half a lap behind the leaders. More than that. Fucking wild, man. Once again, I don't know who it is or what they're about, but I like to have what they're having. That'd be great. The good thing is, I don't really have a big group on my ass. It's just Kurt Busch and uh, Jamie McMurray, so we can kind of just ride our own line here, and even though they're faster, 
I should be able to block and come home with the P11. The only other problem is that once again my right front's red. My right front or my right rear will soon be there. Just don't want to stuff it in the wall and we'll lose any more spots like that. So you know, at the end of the day, I'm okay with giving that up. It's better one spot than stuffing it in the wall and God knows what happening. Besides, I might be able to draft it back and get it again. Like maybe this. I'm gonna run that steam halfway through the corner. I shouldn't have tried it. Hopefully, Jamie will let me come back up in a line. No, that's cool. I'll fucking get back up in line. We start dicking around, man. <laughs> the group behind us is gonna catch us. I don't. Yeah, it looks like another one or two cars, if, if that, behind me. Yeah, two cars, and that's it. So, it looks like we're going to get an easy top 15. Man, I really wanted a top 10. We're going to come home like one spot short of it. I don't even know where the next car past Kirk Bush is. Ricky Rudd, six seconds up there. So, yeah, it didn't look like it was going to happen, period. So, ah, oh, damn it, yeah. Well, McMurray's going to get me. I, I was too tight. I couldn't turn down. Okay, P13. Wait, five. Oh, maybe I can get one of these spots back. I doubt I'm going to get both, but. Well, I guess, again, if I don't put it in the wall, at least the furthest I can go back is P13. I love these plate races, man. I wish there was, like, one or two more on the schedule of this 2004 series, man. That would be awesome, because not only are these good races to, you know, hang on to the equipment and not tear it up, but you can make friends, you can run well. It's a really a great time. There we go. I can get McMurray. Thanks for the draft, Kurt. Thanks for coming down the track to help me out. Now, if I can get a little bit of pushy push from McMurray, I might be able to get back to P11, but I don't see it happening here. I can get a big run. Oh, I'm taking it. Uh, oh, it's tight down there. Come on, friend. You're going to let me have the spot, right? Yeah, fuck you. I'm Denny Hamlin, your shit for the spot. <laughs> hey, that's why I drafted with him the whole race, so I could just pull that shit and get back to the 11th. Yeah! Won the top 10, won the top 5, wouldn't have win, but that's what we needed to do, man. Nice little run. Qualified top 25, finished top 25. Should be top 25 points. That should be another hefty chunk of money. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. We almost have all friends. Except for Matt Kansas. We're we're working on him. But uh yeah, Kurt Bush, Johnny Benson, Jane McMurray. It's pretty cool. And they send me the money. <laughs> Fifty five thousand race winnings for finishing eleven. It's kinda weak sauce. But five hundred and twenty five thousand sponsor income. Prestige bonus on top of that. Oh man, that is something else. One point six seven million and that means we're going to get a six-race engine dyno. My God. Look at the race stats. Tony Stewart. That's Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick, and Dale Jarrett. My God. Give the rest of the field a break. Jeez, a bunch of tryhards, man. We finished like, oh, man, like 25, 30 seconds behind. Hey, I actually uh, finished higher than where I started. That's rare. Finished 11th, started 12th. That's not too bad. Yeah, the, the short pit stops really didn't help as much as I thought they would. But to be fair, everybody in front of us was way quicker than what we were. I don't know why that is. They're, everybody's just way, like, we're way slower at Daytona than we are at Talladega compared to everybody else in the field. But I still can't complain, though, because we still finished really good. And we did what we needed to do. So I think we go to Chicagoland next, so that ought to be fun. All right. Let's do it, man. Oh, say goodbye to our, oh, man, $1.6 million. Oh, man, it was fun. But we're going to get plus 10 engine power. Oh, man, allow building tracks. Track, <laughs> that's a tough one. Track specific engine. Yes, please. 1.5 million, six races. <laughs> oh, shit, man. All right, so, yeah, that should be done right around this stretch of races here. Michigan, Bristol, Darlington, it'll come in and around somewhere in there. So, 
Let's take a look at these updated point standings, see where we're at. Oh, 23rd, nice. So there's, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, we got a nice little advantage to P26 and points. So it would definitely take a really bad string of races to fall, you know, back outside the top 25, so. And then, yeah, we're really not, oh yeah, we're not really too far up the road from uh, top 20 points, so that's good to see. And the last thing is, I think we got some fresh stuff in. Yeah, we got a fresh chassis, fresh engine, fresh body. Uh, not fresh body, but pretty damn close, so. Uh, we got a one race repair to left, so we got to get something going here. That's right, we got an engine build going. Forget about that. Um, damn, that'll be done just in time to do a to to do another one. Yeah, I guess uh, I gotta get a chassis. I guess it doesn't really matter to be fair. All right, so we're gonna have to repair this one here. It's gonna be ninety-two thousand, and unfortunately, I don't have enough money to overhaul any of these other ones. But at least we'll have this one for Chicago, and then this one's not too bad, honestly. If we, you know, keep it clean, we could probably be all right there to run that again but this one will go back up to 62 60 and 64 not too bad obviously it's not as good as this one but that's okay we just gotta have another 25 25 and 25 day and we should be able to you know make that money up just fine but there you go i hope you guys enjoyed today's video we're going on to chicago land uh, right there yeah that's pretty much the halfway point of the season so uh, pretty crazy, man. Once again, I talked about this before. At first, I thought we were going to get the uh, the 18 race dyno build. Then I thought maybe, you know, we could get the 12, and then we ended up getting the 6. So um, not only are we going to get that this season, but uh, we're going to get a chance to uh, get some brand-new engines with uh, with some more engine power this season, which is huge. Not only can we get that for the end of this season, but then we can uh, we can save a little bit and then – bring a huge huge new engine to daytona for season four and then you never know from that point on that could be our championship season in season four i doubt it i honestly doubt it i think we need to finish off this season really really strong and then it's going to take a badass season four to set us up for a season five championship run i think so when you look at it we're to the point now it took us a long time but it took us it's it's to the point now where we can get a shop edition pretty much every time after the next one's done. Like shop editions before were very hard to come by for us, but those are the ones that we really need to keep on improving. So either way, we're on the right track. But uh, once again, you guys know it's a long process, so we're just going to keep on working at it, and we'll get there eventually. But once again, I'm going on to Chicago. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.